hey you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you my go-to no makeup makeup look so we're going to be starting off on a bare face this is what my face looked like before we start getting into our makeup i'm going to go ahead and first start off with my primer with the tarte face tape primer Every now and then I do like to use a primer on my face for my makeup just so my makeup could last a little bit longer. I am doing this for the purpose of this video but most of the time I don't really use a primer because my makeup just ends up lasting. So once I'm done priming my face I'm going to go ahead and with my Mirette this is a foundation concealer stick. In the color chestnut which is one of my favorite um i love to use this concealer stick just because it do give me a natural look with makeup it doesn't look all cakey or chunky powdery any of that um so i do just like to put like a couple of lines on my cheeks on my chin as well as my forehead and under eye So I'm going to go ahead in with my flat head brush just to blend out my foundation stick and y'all. As I'm blending you can see that the makeup looks like skin. Like that's why I love this Mirac concealer stick so much. You can use it as a concealer. You can use it as foundation. Obviously I use it as foundation. And it looks so good. Like it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It goes on pretty much flawless. I like to use this concealer stick like if I am just going like on a quick errand if I don't want to look like I have like makeup on too much and it's a perfect go-to Next, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Concealer Stick in the shade 390. And I'm just going to apply some concealer under both of my eyes, underneath my chin, above my lip line, and as well as the middle of my brows slash forehead. I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge. I love these sponge so much. So just go ahead and blend out that concealer just so it can give it a nice flawless look. And I like to use this concealer just because it gives me a nice glow underneath my eyes and my chin, well my T-zone area. So I am done blending in my concealer stick as well as my concealer and my skin look flawless. And then I'm going to go ahead and with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I'm going to go ahead and use my Real Technique sponge again and just apply the powder underneath my eyes, on my chin, as well as between my brows as well. Just to give me that nice matte look because I love my makeup to look matte. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave the setting powder on my face and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyebrows. So this is what my eyebrows look like right now. I actually just got them waxed. I'm going to go ahead and use this Dollar Tree eyebrow pencil. Dollar Tree eyebrow pencils are bomb, y'all. Do not sleep on them. But I'm just going to go ahead and just line my eyebrows up a little bit. I'm not really a big fan of doing too much with my eyebrows. So I'm just going to just line it up a bit just because I do want to just give it a nice natural look to my makeup. Now 
once I'm done lining up my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and take my spoolie brush and just blend it all out nicely. And as you can see, my eyebrows look nice and blended. It looks full. And I'm going to go ahead and get my brush just to go ahead and buff out all of that setting powder that's just been sitting on my face. Next, I'm going to go in with the Marette Highlighter Balm. This is in the shade Bounce. It's a nice rose goldish color. Um, I like to just put this on my cheek. Not too much. It just gives it a nice subtle highlight. And then I just like to go ahead and with my brush just to go ahead and blend it all out. Now for the eyelashes, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I have some nice full lashes, so I do not use any type of falsies. And because since we are going for a more natural look, we're just going to go ahead and just apply some mascara. I like to use this mascara just because it makes my eyelashes look so much fuller than what they are, even though they are naturally full. And it makes them look super thick and long, which I love. I'm then going to go in with this gold eyeshadow pencil that I love to just put in my inner tear ducts just to give my eye just a little pop even though we are going for a more natural look. I do just like to always just put this little pop of color. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the lips and I'm going to use the lip bar liner in the shade Straight Living just to line my lips. This is a nice chocolate brown color. I'm going to be going for a more neutral, new type of lip today since we are being a more natural look. And this lip liner is so creamy. It is black owned. It's available in Target. Then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Thick. I don't know if this is still available, but it is a nice nude pink color that I'm just going to go ahead and apply to my lips. And then once I'm done applying, I'm just going to rub my lips together just to blend it all nicely. And then that is the final look of my lips. So this is what my face looked like once it's completely done. It is nice and neutral. Not too much going on. Nice and subtle. And it's my everyday go-to no makeup makeup look. I hope you did enjoy this good old video. And if you did, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl. And I hope to see you guys in the next upload. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.